Good morning to all of you or as we say in Japanese, Ohayou gozaimasu. Can you say Ohayou gozaimasu? Ohayou gozaimasu! Great! Nice try, my dear tourists. By the way, whenever you meet the local people, you can say Konnichiwa, which means hello in Japan. Please, can you say Konnichiwa? Konnichiwa! Alright, very good, my dear tourists. So let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Grisha Maitanadero Montemayor, or you can call me Miss Grisha, your cutie tour guide for today. And on behalf of Helian to Travel and Tours, I would like you to meet our coach captain, Mr. Sosuke. Say hi to Mr. Sosuke. Hi, Mr. Sosuke. Mr. Sosuke is a professional bus driver and I assure you that he will take us to our destination safe and sound. Since you're all excited, huh? Okay, I have here a question. For those who knows the answer, just raise your hands. The question goes this way. Who is the current emperor of Japan? Yes, mister, what's your answer? Naruhito. Wow, you've done research, aren't you? Your answer is correct. Congratulations. Because of that, you won a prize. For those who don't know, Naruhito is the current emperor of Japan. He acceded to the chrysanthemum throne upon the abdiction of his father, Emperor Emeritus Akito, on 1st May of 2019. The role of emperor of Japan has historically alternated between a largely ceremonial symbolic role and that of an actual imperial rule. While we're heading to our first destination, I just want to flex this traditional dress of Japan, the kimono or kimonos, which are generally made of silk, have a large sleeves and reach from the shoulders all the way down to heels. They are tied with a white belt called an obi. So later, my dear tourists, if you want to try this outfit, you can shop at Kimonoka Asuka Shop, one of the most popular rental shops here in Kyoto. To rent a kimono for one day in Kyoto, expect to pay somewhere around $10 to $30. This price includes a shop assistant who will help you to choose the best kimono for your body shape. The assistant will also get dressed. Almost all kimono rental shops in Kyoto have lockers where you can leave your clothes. And I want you to be mindful about exchange currency in Japan to Philippine Peso. Just remember, one Philippine Peso is equivalent of 2.24 Japanese yen. And before we go, I have here a copy about Japanese etiquette, how to avoid being an annoying tourist in Japan. First, don't. Don't walk around eating or smoking. Second, don't misissue your chopstick. Third, don't harass geishas or maikos for selfie. Fourth, don't deface significant UNESCO World Heritage. And the last, don't overindulge in obvious western places with free Wi-Fi. And some of those is first, do learn some basic Japanese phrases. Second, do slurp your noodles. Third, do bow appropriately. Fourth, do take advantage of public transport. And the last is, do say kanpai when clicking glasses before you drink to show some respect. And if you hear this whistle once, it means you have 10 minutes to room around the place, talk to locals and buy souvenirs if you want to. And if you hear it whistle twice, it means you have 5 minutes to room around the destination, take a picture and treasure the movement. And last, if you see this flag waving, it means your time is up, we need to go back to the bus. Are we clear? Yes! So my dear tourists, I would like you to inform that we are from the flight 89B. To start our day 1, we have reached the Narita International Airport. The NRT is the largest airport in Japan. It is located 60 kilometers or about 37 miles east of Tokyo. As you can see behind me, the national flag of Japan. And some of you silently asking, why does Japan have two flags? The reason why is simply a red disc on a white background and no one has a problem with that one. 
The rising sun flag has a similar red disc but with a 16 red rays. Coming from it, both flags have in fact been using for a long time. Dating back countries, the flag is officially called Nishoki but is more commonly known in Japan as Hainumaru. It embodies the body so required land of the rising sun. Kyoto, once the capital of Japan, is a city on the island of Honshu. It's famous for numerous classical Buddhist temples as well as gardens, imperial palace, Shinto shrines, and traditional wooden houses. It's also known for formal traditions such as kaisiki, dining consisting of multiple courses of precise dishes, and geisha females entertainers of often found in the Jian district. So finally, we have just arrived our first destination. Welcome to Kyumishidera Temple. It's one of the Kyoto's must-see attraction. It's a bustling Ryu fan of commerce and schla, but it's a lot of fun especially for the kids. Presiding over the southern Higashiyama sightseeing district with the brilliant views across the entire city. Kiyomizijara Temple is just about everything a temple shouldn't be noisy, crowded, crashly, commercial, and as a gaudy as an attention state, but it somehow manages to transcend all of these to become of Kyoto's most worthwhile temples to visit. So while we're heading to our second destination, I just want you to try this one. The Keisiki, the ultimate in Japanese fine dining. Keisiki is a tasting course comprised of a small seasonally themed dishes crafted with the utmost precision and attention to detail. Keisiki was born from the traditional tea ceremony where small morsels of food were offered along guide, the bitter green tea, and over time, these offerings evolved into a multi-course cuisine. We have just arrived to our last destination for this day. Welcome to Ninenzaka and Zanenzaka Preserve Districts. Two of Kyoto's most attractive streets are Senenzaka and Ninenzaka, a pair of gently sloping lanes that lead down to the Kyumizudera temples. Toward Nenenomichi Lane, lined with beautifully restored traditional shop houses and blissfully free of the overhead power lines that most the rest of Kyoto. Senenzaka and Ninenzaka are a pair of pedestrian-only lanes that make for some of the atmospheric strolling in the city. Okay, tourists, please go back to the bus. Konnichiwa, my dear tourists. Welcome to our day two. So, how's your stay, guys? Excellent! Great! Me too. I've enjoyed it anyway. And I know we are all excited because for our day two, we have two destinations to visit and one cuisine to try. So, let's go! We have just arrived to our first destination. Welcome to Chiyon Temple. Exist to the north side of Maruyama Kuen and follow the street north to the impressive main gate of Chiyon Inn Temple. Climb the steep step and enter the wide courtyard of Chiyon Inn. The main hall is under construction, how and will be for several years. So you don't have to linger here, return to the steps and continue to the north. And before we move to our second destination, let me to please you this kind of Kyoto sweets, the Kagizen Yushipsa. Kagizen Yushipsa is a traditional sweet shop in the heart of Gion, with a serene tea room where you can enjoy the traditional sweets with cups of thick matcha tea. My dear tourists, we just arrived to our last destination for our day two. 
Welcome to Fushiminari Taisho Shrine! It's hard to describe Fushiminari Taisho Shrine as a mere Shinto shrine that's like describing the North Dame as a chapel. The fuck is Fushiminari Taisho Shrine? It's an entire world of shrines and shrine gates spread across an entire mountain in Southeast Kyoto. That's all for our day too, my dear tourists. I hope you've learned something new and you enjoyed it anyway. So be ready, we are now going back to the hotel. Rest well to gain more energy for our last day trip here in Kyoto Prefecture, Japan. Konnichiwa! Ohayo gozaimasu, my dear tourists! Are you all excited to our last day? Yes! So we have just arrived to our first and last destination. Welcome to Nazenji Temple. One of the best temples in northern Higashiyama district, the Nanzenji Temple is a sprawling Zen paradise surrounded by lush green hills. Nanzenji Temple is one of the first temples I ever explored in Kyoto, and I opened my eyes to just how magical a proper Japanese temples can be. And for our last cuisine to try is one of the most popular traditional food here in Kyoto, the Chawamushi. The chawamushi is a delicate custard soup. Its name meaning steam in a teacup. Each portion of the dish is ideally served in a small leaded cup. Either as an appetizer or a part of a bigger meal, the custard usually consists of an egg mixture that can be flavored with numerous ingredients such as dashi, Japanese stock, soy sauce, mushrooms, tofu, ginkgo nut, or a steamed shrimps. So, yes, sad to say, this will be the end of our two-night and three days glance at Kyoto Prefecture, Japan. I hope that you've enjoyed learning and exploring this simply beautiful land. We are very honored to guide and assist you in this spectacular adventure. On behalf of Helian to Travel and Tours, thank you for choosing us to be part of your unforgettable Kyoto Japan Tour. Again, I'm Krisha Maitanadero Montemayor, your tour guide for the day. Matai masyo! Means we will meet again. Keep safe and enjoy life by collecting memories. Sayonara!